Hi guys, Zoe here. Um, I haven't done a video in a little bit, I think since the Evo 4 meet. I've been so bad at videos, but honestly, I don't really know what to record and make a video with. Um, I also just don't like talking in front of people. So yeah, I'm going to try to do more though. I have a list of a lot of small things to do on each vehicle. And I'm hoping holding myself to create more videos will allow me to get, start getting through those lists because I've been really lazy with getting a lot of the small stuff done on the cars. So we're gonna start today um, with the Evo 8 here. So got the Evo 8 in here. Just, uh, I don't have too much time, but I figured this could be a good intro to getting through these lists. So um, just gonna do two really quick things on the Evo 8 this morning. Um, and then I gotta uh, power wash the engine bay on the truck because I didn't realize it's still filthy from <laughs> the last time I went off-roading. Um, so I need to do that and put the headlights back in it and then I'm actually going to take the truck home and leave the Evo here. Um, but yeah, what we're gonna do on the Evo today is it's actually been misfiring under um, heavy throttle uh, the past couple weeks, which I haven't been driving it too much so I haven't been too concerned, but um, I do wanna get that fixed. It's most of the summer it was backfiring a lot which I need to figure out because it's never done that before ever um, but I'm thinking the misfire now is due to the spark plugs because it's been backfiring so much and running kind of um, rich so gonna replace the spark plugs today um, O'Reilly's down the street which is one of our accounts just dropped off the NGK's and they are of course the BR8ES um, so one step colder for the modified engine. Um, so we'll go get those replaced and then I'm, I'll explain the next thing when we get to it because I kind of have to show you. So um, let's get these hood popped. I'm going to have to interrupt at some point because I do have a client picking up a car this morning. Um, but then we can keep going on it once he grabs that. It's also very dirty. So very very dirty holy shit um, so please don't mind that um yeah i haven't been upkeeping the cleanliness also if anyone has any recommendation on these um hood vents i have tried the factory clips on these so many times that they just they keep popping out um and it won't hold it so i finally got this little clip to hold it kind of in place but every time i close the hood it seems to pop out um, and as mentioned, I've had the factory clips here and they keep popping out and getting lost. So if anyone has recommendations for that to actually stay on the car, that would be great. Um, but otherwise, yeah, let's start with the spark plugs. Spark plugs out. Just want to take a look at them quick, see what we're looking at. And honestly, I haven't gone over spark plugs in years, so I actually don't fully remember what I'm looking at here um, as far as like what the coloration means and everything. So, all of them have a little bit of oil here, um, and then they're all kind of black at the top, but the um, I can't remember the name of the, the parts, but the end is still uh, looking kind of white, but I think these are probably my problem. Not sure if there's something causing them to go bad like this, but I will have to do some research later to see exactly what I'm looking at here. <laughs> I also noticed on the coils on one of these, oh, this one has, uh, it looks like what is gasket right here that I can't even get to come off. Um, so that's a little concerning because I'm not sure why that would be there. 
Um, I haven't had the valve cover placed on this in probably over a year, I believe. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get the new ones in right now and then I can research a little bit later exactly what the coloration on those mean and if there's a problem, if I need to address something else. So let's get the new ones gapped and put in. make sure everything's good no check engine light everything's plugged in um i need the key <laughs> so i ended up gapping the spark plugs to uh 0.26 or 0.26 um and perfect okay no check engine light i need gas i know um, sorry. Um, so 0.26. So the factory spec, I believe, is 0.28 to 0.30. Um, but everyone gaps them a little bit smaller, especially when the car is modified. This car isn't too modified. It has a built head, um, Evo 9 Turbo. But um, I did want to do it a little bit smaller since some other people said that they had issue issues at the factory spec when it was slightly modified. So, but yeah, some people go down to like 0 0.20. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of research, just some quick research. That's where I landed on my decision. Um, but yeah, if there's something differently I should be doing, let me know. Um, the second thing, there's two other things I want to get done today. One of them was to put on a lift and see if and where it has an exhaust leak. I'm almost positive this car does because one, it reeks when I'm driving it, two, it sounds like it does, um, and it sounds like it's getting worse. So I need to do that at some point, but our lift is currently blocked and I don't have a lot of time delivering the car for work. It took a little bit longer and I definitely have to wash the engine bay on the truck because I want to drive that. Um, so what I'm going to do really quick is just tell you the third thing I was going to do on this. And eventually we'll get to everything. Just working on this right now, there's so many things I need to get done. For example, just even small stuff, you know, removing this that I don't need anymore, um, painting the wiper arms. Um, I realized, you know, mentioned that this hangs down. It's actually been rubbing right here into my valve cover. So that'll need to be powder coated at some point. Um, and yeah, just cleaning this up, making sure everything is good. Um, bushings or the shocks look like they're starting to wear out, which, um, this is just on lowering springs. So it's actually, I'm not even gonna say what it's on because I can't remember. And I thought it was one thing and then I found out it wasn't. So it's on lowering springs, um, not on coilovers. Eventually I want to get coilovers again. I used to have a set of Fortunato 510s and they were the best thing ever, but now they're like a thousand dollars more than when I originally got them. And I had sold mine when I moved out to Utah because um, the roads out here, there's a lot of dips and curbs you have to drive over compared to where I live in Pennsylvania. So I think I'm gonna cut the video here. Again, just spark plugs, not much done today, not much to watch here, but um, I'm hoping again that making videos and trying to make more content um, gets me through this list on all the cars, so wrap it up with a nice picture of the bear. <laughs> Bye guys. Thanks for watching.